Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender at Parnassus Books. Today is the beginning of Amazon's pre-Black Friday sale. Is that weird? Because that's usually the Friday after Thanksgiving and Halloween hasn't happened yet. So that, what that means is that things are super discounted on Amazon. So you as a consumer have a choice. You can spend your money sending Jeff Bezos to the moon or you can make sure that the shop dogs have plenty to eat tonight, right? Sparky, Sparky, you want some kibble in your bowl? Do you want some biscuits, friends? Because that's really the choice. Who are you supporting? You're supporting the health and well being of small dogs, and we love you for it. Okay, on to the book report. We had the best possible event last night with my bestie, Elizabeth McCracken. I love this book so much and I love her and we have signed copies and just take my word for it and order this book. It's beautiful. Andrew Meyer has a giant book on the history of the Morgenthau family. Why am I holding this up? Because I once went apple picking in Robert Morgenthau's orchard when I was in my early 20s with a boy I had a big crush on. You, you were looking for more to that? There's just really nothing else coming. What I, oh, and then we have Rihanna Giddens, Build a House. And this is such a beautiful picture book. And because she wrote it as a song, it reads like a song because it is a song. And there's a QR code on the back and you can listen to the song that she did with her pal, Yo-Yo Ma. But really and truly, this is, this is a class AAA book. And I love this time of year because pointless, gorgeous picture books start coming out. Just things that make you happy and feel good. And let's start with Will McPhail's Love and Vermin, one of my favorite cartoonists from The New Yorker. Every single page will make you laugh. And then we get pictures like this, pictures, Ah, books like this, Wildflowers in North America. I just, I love this. I buy these. My whole house is stacked up with these. And then one more, Smithsonian's Animal, The Definitive Guide. Do you know why you need this book? Because one day you look out in your yard and you see this guy and you don't know what it is. Is it a bison or is it a buffalo? You need the book. This is an American buffalo, all right? Kat's gonna tell us about cookbooks. All right, we have a very, very special cookbook today. King Arthur's um, Baking School. Anybody who has baked ever knows that King Arthur is the gold standard when it comes to re readily accessible flour. I can't bake without it. And their uh, instructions for baking stuff on their website is amazing. And now they've got it in a whole book. So anybody who likes to bake really, really needs this one. Now, Lindsay. Hello, I've got a mixture of fiction and nonfiction for you all. Um, the big novel out today is Dinosaurs by Lydia Malay. Lydia Malay is one of those authors who can write about any and all bizarre subjects, and I will be 100% on board. She had a book about a woman who thought she was giving birth to like the new Christ or something, and I gobbled it up. I loved it. Um, this is one of her more conventional ones. It's about a man who walks from New York to Arizona and moves in next to a family who lives in a glass house. Um, she's a stunning writer. Check it out. Over in nonfiction, I have a collection of essays from Nora McInerney, Bad Vibes Only. Uh, if you need a laugh, some humorous essays. It's got a great blurb from Sam Irby. I trust Sam Irby, so check that one out. Lucky you! There's a hardcover edition of Red, White, and Royal Blue with a bonus chapter from Casey McQuiston. This will be a great holiday gift item. And another nonfiction title, we have Last Light by Richard Lakeo. Uh, this one follows artists who really, really flourished later in life. So if you want a quieter art book, check that one out. And up next, we have Elise talking to us about events. Hi, everyone. I also want to hold up this book and tell you what an amazing event we had last night with Elizabeth McCracken and Ann Patchett. And we do have signed copies of her latest title, The Hero of This Book. You want this 
because it's incredible. It's a beautiful, small book, so beautifully written, and you'll wanna buy a copy for you, and it's such a lovely gift. So get these while you can, sign copies, the hero of this book. Tonight we're hosting Mary Robinette Coel, and this is a, a honeymoon, uh, an interplanetary space liner. You gotta love Mary Robinette so much so that you should come tonight at 6 30 it's free but go online and register mary robinette and then on wednesday from all the way across the pond we have maggie o'farrell and the marriage portrait and this is going to be at seven o'clock and she is also a friend of Anne's, so she will be in conversation with ann patchett do you want to come and say something i love this i love this i also forgot to say the thing about barbara king's song Oh, okay. Yeah, do you want to go ahead and do it? We could do it together. Okay, one, two, three. Barbara, Barbara King Solver. <laughs> um, next week, October 19th, Harpeth Hall at 6.30. Get your tickets for that because that is really the book of the year. And we will be taking this on the road, I think. I think what that's, do you I'm think? getting back out of your space. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, Barbara King Solver. But then also on Wednesday, Maggie O'Farrell. This is a, a ticketed event and tickets are just about sold out but there are still some left. So when you hear this, go ahead, go online, get your ticket. And of course the ticket is the book and you want the book anyway. So that's Wednesday. Then that is leading us into Southern Festival of Books. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is Southern Festival of Books. And you know, it's the usual amazing lineup. Parnassus Books is the bookseller. So we will see you there. And I also want to mention that during the festival, here at the store on Saturday for story time, it's Shop Dog Marley. I think she's bringing Heather with her. Um, so that will happen at 10.30 on Saturday. And also, because I won't talk to you before then, on Monday we are having a virtual event. And that's with George Saunders and his new uh, book of stories, Liberation Day. And I've read them and, you know, no big surprise, it's incredible. That's a virtual event at seven o'clock. That is ticketed, I believe. So go on the website. I hope I see you at all these incredible events. And now here's Rayanne. Thanks, Elise. Hi, everybody. My friend Kristen O'Donnell Tubb has a new book out today, The Decomposition of Jack. I love all of Kristen's books. Maybe you've read her dog books. This is a standalone about a boy named Jack who's called the roadkill kid at school. Now, who doesn't want to be in middle school scraping roadkill <laughs> off the side of the road to help their scientist mom after their parents have been divorced? So one day, Jack sees a cougar in his backyard. He knows that cougars are extinct in Tennessee. So there's a mystery to be solved here. Kristen will be here later this month to launch the book with her dog, Myrtle the Pug. It's a costume party, so I hope you'll go on the website and sign up for that. <coughs> what a great day when we have a new picture book by Mac Barnett and John Clausen. And this is The Three Billy Goats Gruff. It is so fun. I'm sure everyone here heard me laughing out loud as I was reading this to myself again yesterday. It's a great book. Guess what? Jimmy Fallon and Jennifer Lopez wrote a picture book. It's illustrated by Andrea Campos. It's called Compollo, and it's a bilingual play playground adventure. Very cute. How many of you have read Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales? Now you can draw your own. This is Let's Make History. So this has got some fun tips about history and how to draw your own graphic novel. So fun. Do you like podcasts? Do you like mysteries? This is from the Wild Thing podcast, The Search for Sasquatch. You can find this in our science section. So it's getting on holiday time now, so we're seeing some great, beautiful holiday gifts in the kids section. This is the 10th anniversary illustrated edition of The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. It's beautiful and it's, um, stays in classics. And also the latest Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix is out today in the illustrated book. Thanks for listening. I hope I see you on the plaza at the Southern Festival of Books this weekend. Thanks.